the provision of supplies to the U.S. and NATO forces in Afghanistan through Pakistan has caused massive financial damage to the country. Officials in Pakistan say that the country's National Highway Authority has suffered more than $450 million losses in the form of road damages caused by overloaded NATO supply containers traveling through Pakistani routes during the last two years. A rough estimate shows that half of the non-lethal NATO supplies, including fuel, food and equipments, were trucked overland to Afghanistan via Pakistan, with more than 300 of NATO supply trucks transported each day through Pakistani routes. And as the National Highways Road Network could not bear the overloaded containers supplying goods and fuel to NATO forces in Afghanistan, this resulted millions of dollars losses to the National Exchequer. Our roads have been damaged badly because of these NATO supply trucks flying on are always overloaded. It takes us the whole day to cover the distance from Peshawar to Torham border, which is hardly 100 km. These road conditions are always bad for our vehicles also. Government says it has written several letters to NATO to pay for repairing these routes, but so far no response has come from the other side. On November 26, Pakistan shut down the NATO supply routes at its border crossing along the Afghan border in retaliation for a NATO aircraft attack on a military check post in northwest Pakistan that killed 25 Pakistani soldiers. The incident has seriously harmed, if not destroyed, the already deeply strained relations between Pakistan and the United States. With masses still continue to hold massive anti-U.S. protests across the country, demanding of the government to permanently shut NATO supplies to U.S.-led and NATO forces in Afghanistan. We had to carry these NATO supplies because we know ultimately these things will be used against our own Muslim brothers. Besides this, heavy traffic has destroyed our roads. We will be happy if this route is closed permanently. Pakistan has also evicted the U.S. from an airbase used to launch U.S. drone attacks, withdrew from last week's international conference on Afghanistan and Germany, and pulled its officers from border liaison posts. Given the current wave of anti-American sentiments across the country, blockade of NATO supplies is now drawn out to third week, making it the longest closure of the 10-year war with no imminent sign of reopening the supply line. Zahid Hussain, Press TV, Peshawar.